Hi, welcome back to a new series on reinforcement learning, where I'll take you from being a zero in RL to a hero in it. I've also linked some sources below, which I think will be helpful in addition to this series. In this series, we'll cover the Bellman equation, Q-learning, deep Q-learning, where we'll play some Atari games using RL and policy gradient methods. I'll try to keep the course more hands-on and less theoretical. So I might skip some mathematical theory along the way. So let's begin. What is reinforcement learning? Imagine you have a dog and you want to train it to raise its legs whenever you say raise. Now, whenever we say raise and it does raise its legs, we give it a treat. If it doesn't, we don't. So in this context, our dog is the agent. Look how cute it is. The treat is the reward and whether it raises its legs or not is the action. Here we can see in the context of the classic RL flow diagram where the agent takes in the state and a reward, the state could be whether we tell it to raise its legs or not, then performs an action. Based on the action, the environment spits out a new state and a reward. And thus the cycle continues until we reach a terminal state. Also in reinforcement learning, there is another issue, whether the agent should choose actions which are exploitative or whether to take explorative actions. Exploitation focuses on using known actions to maximize reward, while exploration seeks to discover new actions that could offer greater rewards in the future. Again, let us understand this with an example. So you can see we have a maze and a mouse and a few cheese blocks. In this example, the mouse can take a shorter path and reach one piece of cheese, but at the same time, it can take an explorative path and reach three pieces of cheese. This is a trade-off which every RL system has to make. Fortunately, we don't have to explicitly program this. The frameworks we will study will take care of this. But that does not mean that we don't have to think at all about this. This is still a key piece that we have to keep in the back of our minds while we are training reinforcement learning agents. All right, that's it for today. In the next video, we'll cover Bellman equation. And don't be scared of the equation will break down each element clearly so that you can easily understand this. This equation is central to reinforcement learning because it helps the agent determine the value of each action in each state. All right, thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe.